It's Bourbonite Live. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. And welcome in. You always throw something in at the beginning there that just surprises me. Well, you know what I was like, thinking. Like, we're always live on Sundays. Oh, I know. You know what I was thinking about doing. What? <laughs> Let's see if I, I, if I can... Uh, you were thinking about muting that laptop yeah, before, five minutes that, ago? muting that laptop. It's, it's Sunday night. It's 8 o'clock. It's time to party. Do you know where your kids are? No. <laughs> Hello, I'm your excellent host, Wayne Campbell. With oh me, as gosh. always, is Garth. Hello. <laughs> it's it's yeah. been so long. Some small... Oh, I'm going to get flack for that. Some small... Just uh, that one. I like to get by now, or something. Yeah. You wouldn't say that, but on um, at the opening of the show, but... That's right. Um, yeah. Sorry, I should have poured you one. Well... My bad. Now everyone knows. Sorry, I was focused. Um, so... Tomorrow is June 1st, which is Kentucky's birthday. Happy birthday, Kentucky, 228? 228, 228. since 1792. Yeah. Th thus, 1792. <laughs> so, we're starting off the show with some 1792, which got its name, obviously, from Kentucky. But this, specifically, is the 1792 225th Anniversary Edition. It is 92.15 proof, and you used to know the significance of that. I'm sure Perry... Because Perry. Perry, Perry was on the uncorking that we did of this. May that's have, right. He may was. Have been his, may Ooh, have been that's his, been a uh, hot minute. Might have been his first appearance on Would the show. Would have that been three years ago? It was either that or the Statesman. I can't remember which came first. But, it was this. But um, 15th, I think maybe we're the 15th state admitted to the Union. So 92.15. 90, 92 for 1792. Right. Makes sense. That seems right. That makes sense. So 92.15 proof. Mm. I bet that's... Ugh, hard to, well, they have all the, like, you know, computers that do the proof. But science. But imagine, like, in the little beaker. I mean, like, eh, is that a one, one five? No, they have all the science. Yeah, all the science. Uh, so, so cheers to you. Cheers. Happy birthday, happy Kentucky. Happy birthday, Kentucky. Mm. So, this is definitely not my favorite 1792 expression. It's, but it's solid. It's better than the small batch. It is better than the small batch. Uh, I, I think the full proof is my favorite. Just, oh, you know, yeah. higher proof. Come on. Without, that's, that's just who without, I am. Without a doubt. I, you should accept it by now. So we've got a couple of fun things um, lined up. We've got what's news. Um, maybe some shout outs. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. I think we do have a shout out. And then uh, I got, I grabbed some, you know, little bourbon history tidbits. So mm -hmm. I thought we could drink along with the tidbits. Maybe everyone learns. Oh, Today? Don't, don't tell them they're going to learn. Some people will turn it off. Be well, like, you can't teach me. But you get to drink while you learn. I didn't come here for no, no book learning. It's mostly just to guide us through what we're going to drink. Uh, and ah. so each thing has is, was chosen for a reason. Well, why don't you kind of... Uh, oh, June 1st is Tennessee's birthday as well, says the last cat. Same know birthday. There you go. Twin, twinsies. Twins. <laughs> Twinning. Why don't you kind of uh, lay out our roadmap? And by the way, sure. this roadmap was made about five minutes ago. So yeah. Um, well, I had an idea of doing it, and I knew a few things that we wanted to cover. Because I was I was telling people in the chat earlier, like, yeah, I got some stuff from Wild Turkey and Buffalo Trace. And we can here. totally do all that stuff. <laughs> Buffalo Trace is on there. Yeah. Um. Obviously, we're doing 1792 right now. We're gonna cover um. T.W. Samuels, which mm. everyone probably doesn't have. I think that is a Kentucky, Kentucky only. Kentucky only, I do believe, and I think it's only in the 175 yep. handle. Um, Maker's Mark, we're going to stop by there virtually. <laughs> Evan Williams. Everything's virtual these days. Maybe Elijah Craig and maybe a Beam. We're going to touch on them. Ready you know, any excuse to drink something. Yeah. Jim Beam like a Knob Creek or a Booker's. Or and we might. Do we? Is there an episode where we don't drink Booker's on live? I mean, there is. There and shouldn't be. I think we should wrap it up with a visit to, you know, if we're walking through history virtually, then maybe we should wrap it up with something that's on the front, the new frontier ah, of whiskey. The final, but not final. Is it the final? No. I don't know. Uh, it depends on how long we're going to be around on this uh, rock. <laughs> it might be the final. It might be the final. Uh, frontier. Or we could just watch Star Trek. We could That's do that, too. Frontier. That is also the final frontier. Stuff, yeah. So, yeah. Well, what do you want to do first? I mean, we're already well, sipping this. We're sipping this. We'll do some, uh, we'll do a sample shout out. We'll do some what's news. And then we'll uh, journey back in time. Mm. Well, Swan's here. Hey, Swan. So do you maybe want to... Say hi to Swan? Yeah. Yeah, I thought, um, oh, I guess I thought we had a sample. Or a, a, a what? A shout out for him? 
Hey, Swan. What up? I thought he brought, um, <laughs> yes. No, we do have some hand sanitizer that, uh... <laughs> he knew what I was talking about, and he made me reach... <laughs> that was Anyways. for not pouring my bourbon. Oh, and I'm oh, kidding. He'll I don't down. care. Um... Yeah, Swan uh, got uh, got some of this and uh, shared it with us. This is 80 proof hand sanitizer from Heaven Hill Distillery. So this is very liquidy. I, oh I, yeah, it's I've, not it's not a gel. But I've seen where you can mix it with aloe and it becomes. Ah. Uh, and, and don't do that. Don't like. Please Google that. I don't want to make something that like burns your skin off. But <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I mean, I think they hand said, sanitizer. I think they is, said mix it with acid. No aloe. Well, I don't think I don't see how these would have any type of negative reaction with each other. I'm, in fact, I'm pretty sure hand sanitizer is just like aloe and and this. But well, anyways, pay, look it up on Pinterest. I know that they make hand sanitizer with aloe in it to soothe your hands. I mean, is this um, just booze? <laughs> it might kind of be white, but they say don't drink it. They say don't drink it, so yeah. I'm sure it's like the tails yeah. or something. Yeah, it's not. It's not. For the drinking, not for not for human consumption. No, uh, I wouldn't want to drink it anyways. But it's 80 proof hand sanitizer. How cool is that? That is pretty cool. Yeah, uh, from Heaven Hill. Yeah, do really not consume. Do not consume. Plus, it's just 80 proof. Why would you want to? Why would you want it? 80 and, proof white dog. Well, no we thanks. have all this lovely whiskey. But thank you, Swan, for dropping yes, that off. That's awesome. You're so nice. Very cool. Put yeah. it in a spray bottle. Um, <clears throat> Kirk says that. that's a great idea. Just yeah. spritz. I was at uh, Total Wine, and at the checkout, they have you know the big hand sanitizer thing, and I was like, yeah, I've been touching stuff, <laughs> as one does, and I did a squirt, and it just went, like, <laughs> like li liquid, like water, like not gel, and so the next time I was there, and I went, the cashier was like, yeah, be careful, that goes everywhere. I was like, oh, I know. Oh, he knows. He's the reason that they give the warning. Yeah, yeah I'm that guy. Yeah. <laughs> That's me on the poster. Right. Um, so what's new? Ah, what's new? Yeah. So check this out. This is from Glenn and Kathy, Golf Whiskey. I believe you are in they are. the chat. Uh, this really is... Really excited about this one. Yes. Uh, so this is Pinhook, but this is also, why it's so very cool, the very first bourbon released from Castle and Key Distillery. Yes. Very excited. Um, yeah, the inaugural Kentucky High Proof Bourbon. Yes. So it's... It's Bohemian. It's high proof. Do they say barrel? They don't say barrel proof anymore. No, it's 114.5, but I... I want to say Castle and Key has a lower barrel entry mm -hmm. proof. Um, I don't. I don't know if James Wolverton is in the chat or not. He, he can he share could his knowledge. Definitely clue us in on that. But the name of the horse, because every pin hook, I don't know if you guys are familiar with it, has a picture of a horse and the name. Um, so this one is Bohemian Bourbon. He was or is. I'm not sure of his alive status, status but uh, 15.3 hands. <laughs> Mm. Keep digging that hole. Color brown, sex female. Crop 2020. A crop, I, I don't know what that means. And here, two Kentuckians, right? <laughs> what's, what's a horse? Well, I think <laughs> <laughs> there are terms in any industry. Lingo, inside talk, you know. Inside baseball, yeah. yeah. Uh, but it's unfiltered. I'm sure it is of the, I don't know. I'm not even going to pretend to know. Anyways. Uh, I don't know if like. They're foaling in 2020. I don't know. It has a horse on it, and so that makes it Kentucky esque. Foals. Yearlings. Stop. You dig that hole. Start. Why don't you start naming people in the chat that you're happy are here? Dames. Mm. Uh, Phillies. Phillies. Colts. Colts Stop. Cow Cowboys. Dallas Cowboys. Oh, I thought we <laughs> went on to teams. All right. Anyway, so yes, we're looking forward, and they, Very they excited. got themselves a bottle. I don't know if you've cracked. Uh, oh, yes, we've tried it. Very smooth, says Glenn and Kathy. John wants to know, when are we doing a pinhook flight? Oh, that's a good question. Mm. Uh, we don't have all of them. Oh, we definitely don't have all of them. Do we have enough to do a flight? Maybe, but it would definitely... Maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe it's... Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's maybe. It would definitely be going back a few years. Oh. I don't know how relevant it would be. It's like, oh, we picked this. Oh, it's two years old. Like, yeah. I don't know. Scott wants to know, which is bigger in Kentucky, bourbon or horses? Bourbon. No, I don't think that's true. Well, they want you to believe it's horses. It is horses. But, but horses, horses will get you where you want to go, but bourbon gets you where you want to go better. There are way more events. I mean, bourbon, I don't know, in the recent years, I'd say it's pretty close. Neck and neck, if you will. Um, <laughs> By a nose. But See, we know the terminology. So much money, so much money in the horse industry, and people come from all over the world. Um for horse events in, yeah. in Lexington or in just in Kentucky in general. So, 
Yeah, I'm gonna go with horses, although Chad would like to believe otherwise. But they're both huge, especially now with the tourism. Yeah. I mean, not now with the tourism, no. but in recent years. Well, I will say that, you know, like our racetrack here, which is called Keeneland, um, meets twice a year. You can go pretty much every day when they're open anyway, not uh, barring current events, to a bourbon distillery. You, you know? can go to Keeneland any day and bet well, on horses. Well, I know, but there's not, a, there's not races running. But then there's also Keeneland. the Derby and all the horse uh, farms and all those tours yes, and, you know, yes. millions and millions of dollars well, spent know, on the September sales of, yeah. You know what they say I'm about bourbon? Saying. It's the most exciting two minutes in drinking. It, I hope it takes <laughs> longer than two minutes. Um, well, this one did. Is that what she said? Mm. I'm just kidding. All right. JG Wentworth, let us get something in our glass and we shall heartily cheers you. So let's go next. Let's take let's take a turn. Um, let's go with T.W. Samuels. Trev, Trev took what I was saying and sorry, and he, he said it even better. He said, horses get you where you want to go. Bourbon gets you where you want to be. Mm, I like that. Yeah. That's a good shirt. I like it. I like it. Remind me of that later. Write that down. <laughs> Trev, write that down. Uh, and we'll put Trev Wilson. <laughs> but, um, so this is classy. This is going to be a live uncorking. We've never Un uncorked. Screwing. Well, unscrewing. Yeah. So, just some fun knowledge. Um, supposedly. Now, I am no, you could actually probably ask Michael Veach and he would give you a much better answer. Um, but... According to legend, the uh, Samuels family is the oldest bourbon family, um, and they had their secret family recipe. Um, I think it goes back. The bread recipe, right? Well, yes, that, and, yes, that and no. Just makers? That's makers, yeah. to my understanding. So I think uh, their whole family making whiskey goes back to I think they started doing it in 1840, um, and so T. W. Samuels was the first one in the family. Um, Bill Senior was next and he's the one who, uh, to my understanding, I could be wrong. Um, he's the one who, who did, you know, the work, started the work with Maker's Mark. Mm -hmm. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this is my understanding. Sure. Again, I not a historian. We, we weren't around at that time. Wasn't around, not a historian. Um, but yeah. JG. JG Wentworth. And uh, I forget, we didn't I'll read. <laughs> See, I shall look. See what the Wentworth said. I'm enjoying New Riff, a single barrel bourbon bottle based on your recommendation of the distillery. So good. Thank you. You're, You're welcome. welcome. 877 Mash now. Should we? Do we? Do we? Do we do dare we? tell them? Ooh. Well, we haven't told them officially. Okay. Some news coming soon. <laughs> Later. Uh, if hey. That doesn't just irritate you all to hell. <laughs> so annoying. So. Uh, saw. Clifton in here as officially Bourbon Bites. Congrats on uh, re-christening your, your channel, Clifton. We were on Clifton's channel a couple weeks ago, mm. live, and uh, he is in the chat now. Bourbon Bites, great channel to go check out if you haven't already. Renee says, does TW stand for Trev Wilson? And it might. It should. <laughs> I mean, um, in our house it does. Now, this is a bottle that I would say, uh, it's more of a jug. And I would say this gets a lot of bottom shelf hate. And I bottom don't think it deserves it at all. So, like, I would consider this one of those that it's coming it, up on. It, it, if you're coming to Kentucky. You gotta you, get it. You gotta. And you know what? We didn't even get this in our town. We got this uh, an hour away. Still in Kentucky. Yeah. But this isn't always on the shelf either. Yep. So this is um, 100 proof. 100 proof weeder. It says established in 1844. I said 1840. So that's when they started making it. But it's bottled in bond. So four years. There we go. I was on to something there. You were um, so on it. So yeah. Uh, I did no age statement, but it's straight. Bourbon, uh, whiskey. They're asking about price. A bottle um, of bond, so obviously four years yeah, at least. I, wanna, I would estimate at least. I can't. Probably just right at four. I can't remember. We bought this a little while ago, but uh, it is no more than $25, I would say. 27 For the jug. Yeah. Okay, it's bottled and bond. It, it does have a little burn to it. It's a hoiter. It's a little bit nutty, though, too. Yeah. Um, it does not remind Let's me of Maker's can, Mark at all. If I can find it. Even on. though it's like same family. Um, Total. Oh, James E. says T.W. Samuels is in Tennessee too. That's cool. Oh. We thought it was Kentucky only. Across so the border. Good to know that that is out there. That might just be some run runners though. 
Not in Texas, says uh, Whiskey Crusaders. I don't know how it got in Tennessee, but I um, thought it was just... Is it a weeder? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. He um, says it is. Absolutely. It's TWC. A bil- it's, it comes with a built-in pourer. <laughs> yeah. That's for free. Um, yeah, I think... Uh, oh, this is now distilled by Heaven Hill, which explains the nuttiness. Mm. Um, cause I sometimes think that Heaven Hill, because of their barley content, gets sometimes a little bit of a nutty flavor. All right. So I just checked Total Wine cause I have their app and, uh, just, you know, they're in Kentucky. So I thought they would, might probably have it. Um, $20 and 49 cents for the 175 liter in stock. Oh, in stock. We should go get another one. Oh, we should go get another one. So here's the deal though. This was the TW Samuels, like... They sold Trev bourbon. Wilson Samuels, please. Right. Originally, up until Prohibition. Um, and then after Prohibition, and we'll go to this next, uh, Bill Sr. destroyed, again, supposedly, destroyed the um, recipe for the original whiskey. And so, and then from that, Maker's Mark was born. He wanted something that was less bitter. I blame and that was Trev like Wilson 19, for that. 1940s. Um, I think 43, is that right? Mm, I don't know. Mm. 43. It was 43. It was 43. I wrote that down. It was 43. 43. Um, So because it was destroyed, the question is, how closely could what Heaven Hill is putting out reflect what the original was? And how did Heaven Hill end up with the label when it should belong to the Samuels family? Well, I'm sure it probably, when it went to Funked, uh, went dormant like the patent like or whatever. Pepper and all like those. James E. Pepper and the ones that get snatched up. Um, and so I'm sure Heaven Hill, which has, I mean, they're the second largest distillery, the first largest family owned distillery. They've got so many expressions. I'm sure they're like, T.W. Samuels. Yep, we'll buy sure, that. Sure, we'll take that one. I mean, it's like, how, it's like how they make Pike, uh, Pikesville now, when originally, you know, it was up uh, Pennsylvania? Yeah. It was up there. I don't know. North of us. Uh, Maryland? Maryland. <laughs> well, Maryland is the style of rye. Right, right, right. Right, right, right. Right, right, right. Right, 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 right Someone right. said, do you guys call that a jug and not a handle? No, I actually call this a handle, but this just, to me, reminds me more of a jug. But it doesn't have the pinky It doesn't ring. have the thing, yeah. Little brown jug. <sighs> Anyways. Got- so that's that's a little bit of history. It does have the handy. Uh... That's a little bit of loose history for you. <laughs> loose drunk history. I should. Someone put me through school on bourbon history. Apparently, there's classes at UK now, although you can't go to them. I don't know. Um, pay for her tuition. Come pay, on. Pay, pay my way. What no, are you I'm doing? What are you I'm doing? totally kidding. I'm half kidding. I should pay my own way. <laughs> the problem would be that it would either be night school or I would have to quit my job. There is an is your problem. Come on. Um, Night school. Mm. Sounds like a sitcom. You know what? I'll just pay Michael Beach to teach me. I'm just kidding. He Michael doesn't. Beach University. I don't, I don't know if he does that. MVU. MVU. I'd go. <laughs> I went to MVU. I'd go. Yeah. All right. So there's that. Um, I'm going to rinse my glass because I think next it only makes sense to go on to Maker's Mark. Uh, so again, this was the oldest bourbon family. I'm sure someone will be like, but I read that and that's probably true. That's probably true. <laughs> You're right. You are also right. But the thing is about bourbon history is that no one knows a exactly, exactly like to for the sure when it gets like, that far back. When people say like, there's still arguments and discussions around. Um, why am I just holding this? I don't know. Around who came, who invented <coughs> bourbon, who invented uh, the practice of charring the barrels. Speaking of or, Michael Beach, right? He he, he, he has, has a whole a strong theory opinion on that. On that. He's got some really interesting stuff. You guys should go check him out if you don't already. He's got a blog, writes some good Uh, stuff. Mm Bourbonbeach.com, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now we'll go to Maker's Cast Strength. Oh my. We, and we'll get this in our glass. And and the chats are getting super. Some chats. Why did I sound like uh, Billy D. Williams there for a second? I don't know. Oh my. Oh my. Well, hello. Right? What do we have here? Uh, Trev says, I might be one of the biggest Maker's fanboys. I freaking love their stuff. You know what? Even the 90 proof? Until recently, I don't think... Until Even the 90 proof? What would it be? 2018? I would not have said that. I would have said, I don't like Makers. And then they started putting out higher proof stuff. And with every higher proof offering, we've been just more and more impressed. Yeah. So, it's, it's been true. Good. Love the 101. 
The 101 is really good. It's legit. Um, okay, let's go ahead and do this super chat. Cheers. Yes, yes. Real quick for all three. Cheers to you. We got Tony Bag of Donuts saying, been looking forward to a reason to drink for a reason to drink my 1792 single barrel and full proof. Second sip of single barrel was fantastic. Happy birthday, Kentucky. P.S. I thought Elijah was first. So First to char a barrel, they say. They say. Yeah. And we'll get into that lore. Uh, ADHD Whiskey says, hey, hey. Happy Sunday from the old Charter Distillery. Excited for the Beagle Rare finale in a couple weeks. Hope mm -hmm. you two can join the stream. It's we would love to. written on our calendar. Yes, yes. He's uh, got it. Another, uh, speaking of channels here, another channel, ADHD Whiskey. Another one who got also rebranded. used to be ADHD yeah, Fishing. That's right. Now, Whiskey, go check him out if you haven't. And Joseph Brazo went back to work last week. Cheers. Yay. Get back to Congrats. work. Congrats. Back to work, Joseph. Back to fixing them teeth. <laughs> Mm. Oh, it's, yeah. Woo. Yeah. This is so much better. 112.2 proof. So, I mean, it's really only 12.2 proof points higher, but wow, it really... Than the... Than what we just had with the T.W. Samuels being 100 proof. Uh, this is one of... Uh, no. That was... The, oh, it is. Yes. <laughs> sorry. I was like... I was just waiting. Still having the 1792 in my head, and I was like, hmm, nope, Matt. I was like, she'll get there. I, I, and I did. She'll, she'll get there. And I did. Oh, hey, so, hey. Sorry. I'm just going to... I'm going to call out channels tonight. So, The Whiskey Dick. Uh, Bill is in here. Another great channel um, that we've collaborated with. And what up, Bill? What up, Bill? He's in the chat as um, well. Bill sent us a lovely, and this has been a while ago, but a Blanton's holder with yeah. all the horses. And I was just looking at that For the other our day. engagement party. I was thinking or what a gift engagement. that would make. Mm -hmm. Like a nice gift that would well, make for a friend of mine. So oh. I would like to know. Do, do you know? I know, it, I know. You know? Okay. I know. It's actually just down the, well, it's close. Okay, well, we need to go check that out because yeah. I think it would be good. Yeah. Uh, and the funny thing was we didn't know it was from him. And he thought we were yeah. just like being jerks. We had no idea. We were like, where's the, where's the it, name it, it on took this? Us, it took us well over a month before we realized it was from Bill. <laughs> Sometimes we're slow. You just got to bear with well, us, no, they you guys. I, I think they goofed up and they didn't put like a name. Oh, they didn't anything. put no, anything. There was nothing. There well, was nothing. we don't know. <laughs> so. I thought Blanton's. <laughs> this is how conceited I was. I was like, oh, look, Blanton sent us something. And this was probably like, what, 2017, <laughs> well, it's when we got engaged. Oh, so, 2018. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Anyways. So, according to the Guinness Book of World Records, uh, Maker's Mark is the world's oldest operating bourbon distillery since 1805. Mm. Now, let's see. Do they say that anywhere on here? I want to know. I don't know, but they uh, they misspell whiskey. <laughs> There's, a, there's an E in it. <laughs> they do. And there's a reason why they do that, and well, I can never remember why. I can tell um, you. It's, it's a little tip of the hat to their heritage across the sea. Yes. Where they spell whiskey without an E. If you notice, other um, other people do it. Uh, old, old, not Forrester. Yeah, Forrester. Forrester. <laughs> old Forrester does it. Uh, hmm. some other Some other people do it. They've yeah. been around forever. But yeah, Bill Sr. Uh, did away with, uh, supposedly burned, the uh, T.W. Samuels family recipe. Burnt the family, uh, He <laughs> burnt the recipe stop. and wanted something that was less bitter. Yeah. So, which makes sense with the weeded, sweeter, lighter, um, and, and worked on that. But um, that doesn't really make, oh yeah, no, that makes sense. Kind of, though. So I guess the family distillery, this since 1805. Mm-hmm. No, that doesn't make sense at all. She's putting the pieces together. Wait, wait for it. Okay, it does make sense. But it doesn't make sense at the same time. How can it be the oldest operating bourbon distillery since 1805 when the T.W. Samuels family didn't even put out... But that's just that bottle. It could have been under a different label. Oh, absolutely. Okay, that was 1840. <laughs> I was about to be like, gotcha! That was 1840. Gotcha, Samuels 1844. family. If that is even your real name. So maybe they purchased it, but it had been open since 1805. And then they were producing the Samuel stuff, and then they used it later when he destroyed the recipe to produce Maker's Mark. Let's just get Michael Veach on the phone. Can we just call Michael Veach? Can I phone a friend? Hey, Michael. I'm going to hold you up to the microphone. Wow, I'm really wishing now that my I was better at history. Eh, 
It happened so long ago. It happened so long ago. <laughs> but today is a day to celebrate the history. So right. anyways, so then there's the whole story about the bread and how they used the bread recipes until they got the right one that they wanted and then they translated that into the grains that they would the use for the dough, mash. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which, I mean... I buy it. Yeah, I mean, I've obviously never done it, but it seems kind of like that could have backfired on you so hard. I mean, if that is true, and I think there yeah, is... Yeah, you had put some Booker's there is oven some mustard like, in there. Uh, there's James Wolverton. James Castle, Wolverton. Castle and Key is 107 proof for barrel entry. Thank you, Thank James. Thank you, James Wolverton. And that is a lower entry proof. Mm-hmm. Let's talk bourbon. James Wolverton. Talking about channels. No, he'll talk bourbon. Well, but yeah. it's let's talk bourbon. Yes. <laughs> We're talking It's just bourbon. called bourbon. It's, it's just, just called bourbon. bourbon. It's just called bourbon. It's, it's just called let's talk bourbon. It's, this is called let's talk. <laughs> it's just called call me. Sorry, we're riffing on Rick and Morty. Um, but yes, <laughs> great. Uh, another channel there. Um, Go James, check it. I, I don't know if it, if it flags, but James, put your put your put, put your put your put your put your put your put your thing put your thing in the chat. Put, <laughs> put your channel in the chat. So let's see. And some see. mod approve it, please. We covered this. We covered this. We covered this. Sorry, visually, I'm just a visual person. Um, okay. It's good. It's good. I like it. So. Let's take a few steps backwards. Ah, then. And then there's Whiskey Crusaders, another channel another here. Another channel about you're on YouTube. Go check out Whiskey Crusaders. He's been here since the beginning, but well, obviously, but you yes. just saw. I just saw. Um, oh, and James says that pin hook was before I got there, so uh, not 100. Okay, so if you don't Which like, makes sense. The pin hook. Don't blame. Don't blame James. James. It was not. It's before he got him. there. And if you do like it, then he did have something. Then to he do. totally made it himself. He totally helped guide them. Yes. And then it, everything from about a year from now on, you can just be like, if I don't like it, I'm going to call James. Don't call him. I'm going to call him. Don't call him. We'll give you his number. Mm. <laughs> Thank you again for that, James. We will not we'll give, give you a little give uh, maker's mark Bing. Boop. there for you. All right, so while you finish that sip, okay, we're gonna take take another virtual trip, another little trip, because we're all used to vir virtuality. Well, actually, for this one, I don't know that we need to sip it. I'd like to just touch on it because okay. we have other things to cover, um, and I'm not. Oh. You yeah, don't, you don't want to go I mean, that far down in proof. I I, I, I don't want to drop that. that far back. Sure. But uh, maybe we should have gone here before we go into makers. But it just made sense to me with the Samuels connection. Mm -hmm. Um, so Evan Williams, seventeen eighty three, uh, seventeen eighty three, first commercial distillery. Ah. In in Kentucky. Yeah. Um, but yeah, first commercial bourbon distillery. Isn't that cool? Um, Very cool. Yeah, which you know I love seventeen eighty three for a value buy. It's great. Mm -hmm. You guys have heard us talk about it before. I mean, it's 86 proof. Uh, it's around $18 here in Kentucky. Um, but it's not to like. It's, I mean, it's hard to find something that you really enjoy, for for us anyway, when you dip underneath 90 proof. But <sighs> that's definitely one of them. People will say we're snobs. I They'll think say. We're probably just spoiled, which I don't know if that's worse or not. They'll say we're, we're proof, proof hounds. hounds. And they'll, they would be right. Proof. But I think I can still appreciate something that's 86 proof. I can still appreciate something. And there's a time and a place for it, I think, in our minds. Yes. You know, if I'm... It depends on where I'm at, what the event is. You know, if we're at an all-day seminars and every seminar has a tasting, then I welcome lower proof options to taste because Absolutely. I can't be... get. You know, we experienced that the first year of New Orleans Bourbon Festival with a barrel proof sem seminar... Uh, right before lunch, and we had barely eaten breakfast and kicked our butts. So is that I can, the one where they had uh, that's Booker's the one where they had Booker's Rye, and there was Could spots you? that people didn't sit. So we were like, must drink the Booker's Rye, must drink their Booker's Rye. That was the must first day that I was rye. like, oh which is like 130 my gosh. plus proof. Um, Anyways. Mike Meyer asked, uh, we asked me, am I a Scrubs fan? We're actually both <gasps> Scrubs fans. Sorry, to binge watch that. Love it. Are you listening to the Fake Doctors Real Friends? You gotta listen to Fake Doctors Real Friends. Podcast? Because the they do a watch through, and they're only like 15 or 16 episodes in. Maybe. Yeah, if so they're, even. They're doing a Scrubs rewatch. It's with Zach Brath and Donald Faison. And they have guests on. It's so good. And let me put this out in the world, because it's like The Gift, right? Uh, is that what it's called? That book, The Gift? If you put it out there in the world? I don't know. Um, 
we heard on one of the episodes Donald Faison, because he's usually drinking something during the, the podcast, which I understand it loosens you up. You sure. Know, it's it's, it's speaking, talking juice. Speaking juice, liquid courage. Um, he says that uh, he, he drinks bourbon, whiskey. So we're like, how do we get Donald Faison? So I'm putting this out there in the world. We're going to get Donald Faison on a live or on we an won't. episode. It's not happening. We will. You're saying if you that book is if you put it out there in the world. Someone it's was more talking about that the other day. I think they were talking about that on maybe it was that podcast See? or another one. John where they knows. were talking about making a vision board and the you, secret, not the gift, sorry. If you put what you want yeah. out there mm-hmm. or on the vision board, then it helps you realize that it's they achievable. They said, and this was on another podcast, I can't remember who it was, but John Legend did that? That's what I'm talking about, yes. Oh, okay. We're talking about the same thing. We okay. must, it was either that or we listened to the same podcast. It was a different one. Huh. But like... Anywho, I think it was that it one. It was like a whiteboard back when he was like a teenager or something. Mm-hmm. And they were even like... He got it. Yeah, he got He He got it. That's what I said. Emmy, Tony, Oscar. Emmy. Emmy. Tony. Tony Oscar, Oscar. Grammy. 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 He, he got it. Um, but they were even laughing when they put, like, I'm going to go this many times over platinum. I'm going to sell, you know, I'm going to get this amount. And then they And then did everything it. that they put on that board, he has achieved. So. Crazy. The secret. Uh, right? Or am I going back to what I was saying before? No, I said the gift. You said the gift. What's the gift? That's, the gift oh, is that's a, a movie a gift. with Kate, that's Katie, Katie Holmes. Holmes. Don't don't look at the camera with your eyes like that. If you like Katie Holmes, maybe you should watch The Gift. I'm just saying. Sick. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> says high school Chad. Um, the secret. I'm putting it out there in the world. Donald Faison. And let's get a like a Twitter or an, no Instagram. It's more Instagram. Instagram writing campaign. Hey Donald Faison, have you heard of it's at it's Bourbon Night? They want to get you drunk. They want to get you. Yeah, they <laughs> with like really good whiskey. Yes. Yeah, so let's put that out there. Oh, we'll, actually, Ashley. Says, this is for a future distillery tour for those of us who have to live vicariously through you guys. Cheers. Hey, thank you, Ashley. That gets a triangle. That does get a triangle. Delicate. But also appropriate. But meaningful. But meaningful. So meaningful. All right. Let's just have a tiny bit of Elijah Craig. Good old Elijah Craig. This is 94 proof, so. Or there, Dawson's Creek while you're at it. There are a couple of legends of how bourbon came to be, one of which is that um, Elijah Craig, who was a... Baptist minister. Minister. I was going to say preacher. Um, he... Well, now I'm second guessing myself. No, I think you're he was right. Baptist. I think he was Baptist. Yeah. Yes. Uh, again, not historians. Um, was was distilling and trying to transport the whiskey and needed some vessel to transport it and had fish barrels, but you know they tried that and it didn't work cause because the fish it's smell. Fish, so it's he's disgusting. Like, hey, char that so, nasty fish in the Yeah, out. let's burn. If we burn the fish out, then it will be better to transport and so they put it in clear and when it got to the destination which was presumably new orleans, new orleans. um heading down the right kentucky river it, ohio river to the mississippi it river it came out like this and they said hey we want some more of that give us some of that kentucky bourbon whiskey bourbon whiskey or that bourbon whiskey because it came from bourbon county kentucky um now speaking of michael veach which we have several times already he does not buy the Elijah Craig charring the barrel story. He says, I don't care how much you char a barrel, you're not going to get a fish. fish smell or taste out of a barrel. I've never had to deal with that, so I can't weigh in on it. Yeah. But, um, mm. What are the other stories? So, I think he prescribes more to it was on Bourbon Street in New Orleans. Yes. And there's a lot of bars and a lot of sailors, a lot of seamen on Bourbon Street. And the seaman would say, I'm sorry, sorry, I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, (laughs) I can't, I don't understand. Okay, so the seaman was all over New Orleans. And they were like, hey, um, I want to get some more of that whiskey that we had on Bourbon Street. Like, hey, give me more of that bourbon whiskey. Because it would also have had to have been shipped down from Kentucky in barrels, on water. And, you know, the char, who knows? Who knows how that came to be? Um, But Marketing. 
<laughs> it was probably someone's it's all, mark. It's, it's always marketing. marketing. It's all marketing. It's, it's like, hey, if marketing. we make it brown, it'll. I don't know. No. Um, uh, so that's another theory. But you should got you like go check out his blog. He's got posts yeah. going back. I mean, he's been writing about bourbon for probably okay, this as episode's long or sponsored longer. By, <laughs> or right? it should be. No, but I just have so much respect <laughs> for how much he knows. No, for sure. For right? Sure. He is studied. Like everything yeah. that I'm like, eh, I'm not sure. I don't know history. Like, yeah. I seriously want to phone a friend and it be him and just be like, can you totally. verify if yeah. this is true? So, anywho, Patrick Fulmer says, we've been getting some Elijah Craig store picks that are great. Mm -hmm. Gave one to a friend for his birthday. What a nice gift. Cheers to you. So, yeah, you guys, um, <laughs> JG says, Sarah, why are you laughing? <laughs> for, just because it's funny. Mm. You know. Um... Oh, no, that's good. You know, It is good for a 94 point, yeah. even going backwards from the maker's From 112.2. Right? It's still down really to this 94. Well, you tasty. know, it's it's a rye mash bill. So we went from a weeded 112 to a rye mash bill uh, bourbon 94. It is Heaven Hill. It, it's got it's got some more char, richness to more it. char yeah. than, than the softer um, makers. Yeah. Um, but no, uh, it's, it is for sure good. I feel like I was going to say something. You probably were. Uh, was it about the semen in New Orleans? No, covered all the semen. Um, can't remember. Can't remember. <laughs> uh, mm. Trev says, most regular tours are free with a military ID. Special tours, Heaven Hill, Connoisseur Tasting, for example, are discounted at least half off. Makers even gives you a special military patch. I didn't know that. That's, That's awesome. Good on them. Good for them. That's very good. Well deserved. Um, oh, distilleries sure. are supposed to open back up. I believe it's either mid June or mid July. I can tell you, thanks to Swan. Swan says. Swan says. Swan should have his own like article where you know people write be, in with their problems, and instead of like dear Abby, it's like dear Swan. It should be sh my Swan says. <laughs> <laughs> Swan says. Uh, oh, he oh, could actually, have a little. If we had a blog, yeah. you would totally have a guest column. Yeah. Let's be real. Did I not? No, I thought that. I should screenshot it, and then but I didn't. But you didn't. Nope. So you're just going to play on your phone while yeah, we're on live? Just, Cute. You guys okay, go ahead. Cool. James Wolverton says mid-June, and he would know because, you know. Oh, true. Uh, June 8th. Mm. That's what this thing says. I'm dying to go. I want to go so bad. But we're not even going to get to go in June. It's going to have to be July. Ugh. Are they going to be shut? James, are... Do you, well, I don't know that you know for every place, but I'm curious because a <laughs> lot of distilleries... But can you call and ask? A lot of distilleries normally shut down in July because it's so hot and that's when they do their routine cleaning and stuff. So I'm wondering if they've done that while they were closed or if they couldn't because of the restrictions and now they're going to have to close again. I, I don't know. know. A lot of tours are, are not going on normally mm -hmm. in July and, and August. So I'm very curious about that. So where Dear do we... Swan, I can't find Pappy. Please help me. <laughs> that would be the number one thing. Right Dear Swan, to. all I want for Christmas this year <laughs> is for you to stop staring at me, Swan. Yeah. Uh, where are we going next on our virtual journey? Okay. Are we up um, to 1795 yet? We are at 1795. So, so this Kentucky is when... has been a state for three years. Yes, that's correct. And this is kind of when the Beam family tradition begins. And if you guys don't know that the Beams sprawl beyond Jim Beam, then you're missing out. Like, beyond, behind most great distilleries, there's a Beam. There's a Beam. There's a beam. Um, somewhere in there. Um, yep. Yeah. Just look into that. I mean, Parker Beam at Heaven Hill, Parker's Heritage. Um, you've got... Um, Go on. I can't, I'm, I'm blanking now. Um, <laughs> there's a beam uh, with uh, Yellowstone. Yep. Yes. Um, Limestone branch. That's right. And there's more, but why can't I think of them right now? Oh, there's beams all over, there's all beams over, all over. Them, them places. Because uh, there was a lot of beams. And if you actually go to Jim Beam in the uh, still house, um, you look up on the wall as you enter the door, you turn around, you look, and there's like a family tree. It's got, That's so it's got cool. all the beams, and you can pretty much track every single one of them to a distillery. Because Why haven't I memorized that chart? <laughs> there's really only going to be one master distiller, right? Especially back then, at a place. So if your other brother or cousin or whoever, Beam, got that job, you're like, well, guess I'll go start my own distillery. 
we actually said that in a bit of trivia when we were doing something. We were doing an uncorking the other day. Hmm. We talked about a beam who, it was David Beam's son, I feel like. What was that? Oh, what was that? I'm totally blanking. Wow. When you say that uncorking the other day, it means nothing to me. So remember I made a, a three by five card? And you're like, I can't remember this. Vaguely. What was that? Help. Some... Oh, it was old granddad 114. So the, oh, yeah. the old granddad, so that was a beam. Okay. And they own well, that, that label sense. now. Yes, 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 yes. Um, cool. So I don't know that we need to drink anything from beam. We drink stuff from beam all the time. I just wanted to talk about it. Um, let's talk about <sighs> the oldest continuously operating distillery, which you guys know it. You guys know what it is. They tout it. They own it. It's great. Great for them. Uh, now, that's where all of these, like, the oldest, the first, the co most continuous running. Let, and the, it's let all, the chat say it. Let all because of prohibition, right? Some people were allowed to keep their medicinal license. Some people were not. Some people closed forever, and someone else picked up the chat. label. So, Come on, you, chat. you guys know. You guys know what it is. Come on, chat. Come on, chat. I know it's on a delay, but... Yeah, yep. there you go, golf whiskey. Glenn and Kathy, golf whiskey. Buffalo Trace. Yeah. Oh, but a lot of people think Old Forester. A lot of people think Old Charter. So that's really interesting because Buffalo Trace very publicly claims the oldest continuously operating, which is over 200 years now. I think, yeah, I think it's all in how you phrase it. It's so all in how you phrase old it. Old Forester. Um, Someone give me the Old Forester language, please. What do what they What do they even say about... Oh, uh, no, I have the hiccups. Old Forester is the first bottled bourbon. That's what it was. First bottled bourbon. Oh, man, we should have put that on our list. Yeah. Well, there you go. Well, <laughs> eh. <laughs> Don't say well, eh. Well, I like eh. 1920. 1920, sure. Uh, so Buffalo Trace. I got some. I got a deep cut, which I'm not a even deep cut. not even technically sure if this is Buffalo Trace, but it's Sazerac, which owns well, but then Buffalo Trace. What else we got back here? Look, it's in a it's in a um, Stag Junior bottle. Cute. We uh, got we got a little weller. Okay. I mean, I know it's only ninety. I was pulling this deep cut with a walking stick. Uh, you which, have the walking stick. Which we don't know. Might be Barton. Could be part. Um, TBD. Yeah, Sazerac, which of course owns Buffalo Trace. I just want a little taste. It might be Buffalo Trace. Though. This Go might ahead, basically be Elmer T. Lee. It might it's basically not, be. It's 90 proof. It's in a Stag Junior bottle. This was one ah. of the first uncorkings that you did. It is. Didn't I do it by myself? Or yeah, no? You did. I did. Oh, how embarrassing. I remember that now. I think I was wearing my glasses. Um, that is a massive Weller, right? That's a big guy. We've yeah, had that one for it's a another, while. That's another 175. Uh, it's on it's the a jug. big daddy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's in a jug. <laughs> um, yeah, so Old Forester first bottled 1870. Which is crazy to think that Kentucky became a state in 1792. You had the Samuels doing stuff as early as... 1805 uh, to 1844. Sure. But that the first bottled wasn't until 1870? Well, that's because it was sold uh, in, in saloons out of the barrel. Mm -hmm. You just say, I'll take a whiskey. And they would pour you, you would bring your, you know, your clay uh, or whatever type of um, jar. Literally a jug. Jug. And they would fill you right out of the barrel, which is why the Bald and Bond Act of 1892 Seven, mm -hmm. yeah, 1897, not good at the dates, came about because people were filling up those barrels with nasty, nasty stuff. Mm -hmm. So they needed to have some type of um, uh, rules and clarifications set. But yeah, so bourbon was just sold out of the barrel. And actually a reason that, uh, going back to Buffalo Trace, talking about uh, Colonel E.H. Taylor. So Taylor, I think he put, uh, what was it, gold, uh, gold hoops on the barrel like so when you looked like up these gold hoops, <laughs> no or? you know the hoops that hold uh, bourbon yes, barrels yes, yes. so you, you look up behind the bar and you would see barrels you would see that one of gold or you know uh polished or something like that hoops and you'd be like i want that that's taylor so which, marketing marketing yeah totally which then later 
came to the uh, you know bright orange um, label that they they now have on like the E. H. Taylor bottles, mm. even though that's Buffalo Trace now. That was to catch the eye out of all the brass rings. Yeah. Brass rings. Brass rings, yeah. Thank you, James Wilberton. Um, I thought James would, yeah. <laughs> he will I, correct all of our well, <laughs> history errors. Well, I heard about that at Castle and Key, taking a oh, Castle and Key tour. So, yeah. Look at that. So, I guess that makes more he sense. He would than know. Gold. I mean, I knew it wouldn't be like real gold. But I was maybe like, they dang, like, they're really feeling those barrels. <laughs> shine up they? those rings, yeah. make them brass, um, so they would pop and be like, ooh, that barrel looks fancy. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, Michelle. She says, we're enjoying the bourbon history, especially since we can't get to Kentucky. Well, I only wish it was tighter history. <laughs> sure, sure. Um, but, you know, this again, is real. I'm not... Real history. And we're, I treat this more of a... Dis- There's no PowerPoint. Well, a discussion. Exactly. This isn't a class. Yeah. We're so, this isn't a, a master lot, class. You didn't pay a, for this session. a lot from the uh, top of our head. Um, yeah. So, it's... Uh, it's more of like a conversation, or like around the dinner table or something. I don't want you guys to feel like we're t- we're again powerpointing at you. You yeah. can you can go Google all of this stuff. You can Google um, that, yeah. But I just think it's fun to put it all together in celebration of Kentucky's birthday. Yeah, Joseph uh, says you know taverns were filling growlers before that was a thing. Yeah, totally. It's basically, a growler, mm. or a, your your jug. You know, give me a give your jug. Me a, a gallon of whiskey. Yeah, I want to. I mean, you and would then know, you'd be back next week. <laughs> you wouldn't know the brand, the proof. You, and you, you just, really didn't care. You just wanted to get drunk because you needed that eye opener in the morning. Because you got up and you went to bed at sundown last night, and you were working until then in the in the fields, and and your hands were aching, and your back was aching, and that's where eye opener came from. And the bourbon you made it feel better. Pour yourself a eye opener of whiskey, and you would take that, and then you get back to work. <laughs> Can I be real for one second? Be real. She's gonna be real here in a second. This is called dead air. Um, I think I like the walking stick better. This is the walking stick than a special reserve. Yeah, it, it's a little bit harsher on the finish. The the special reserve is smoother, but it's also lighter, and I like the flavor that the walking stick is bringing. Um, here you try. So this is that's this the is the Weller. Uh, just to be honest, I mean. Not that either one of them is particularly easy to find. I, I don't think that... Well, I like the little bit of bite that this one gives. I like the bite, by too. By being a rye mash bill. Yes. Um, it Actually, it's pretty woody for a, for a 90 proof. It has a lot of flavor, I think. Yeah. For, for the proof. And this is probably like circa 2016, honestly. Uh, that have been yeah. open too long. It has. We gotta work on need that. to switch this to a smaller bottle. We do need to switch this to a smaller bottle. Uh, I had for, oh my gosh, yes, this was one of the first uncorkings I did, so of course it's been open for a long time. Price on I the walking it's still stick, so good. single barrel, I don't know because 2016, but I wanna no say it was, we got it from someone in Florida. I don't know if it's our normal Florida connection or not, but. Our, nor- our usual <laughs> connection. usual Florida connection. But um, I want to say it was around 40, 40 or fifty dollars. Yep. Which is probably more than it sells for. But when you think about what Special Reserve goes this for, because this is this isn't around here. No, it's this not. This and the Chestnut Hill, Chestnut, Chestnut Farms, Farms, Chestnut Farms, which is an E.H. Taylor bottle, also made by Sazerac, that's basically ninety proof E.H. Taylor, is also not sold around here. Yeah. I think that also came from Florida. Yeah, we don't know. We don't know. It's yep. been a while. Um, <laughs> Glenn and Kathy Golf Whiskey. Says, happy birthday, Kentucky. We miss you. Love, Virginia. Aw, we used to be part of you. <laughs> uh, then we cut the cord. Sick. And we became Kentucky. We wipe uh, our own ass. <laughs> <laughs> that is a uh, Big Daddy reference. Yeah. <laughs> yeah there you go. Uh, um, yeah. So. Oh, so it's 40. Okay. It's 40 where Matt is in Texas. So, or it maybe did actually... It may have come from Texas. Is it either Texas or Florida? I can't remember. Yeah. So I think we've talked about a lot of things that happened like pre... I mean, I don't think we've talked about anything that's happened post-prohibition or prohibition, which I don't know that it's worth... I think that's the more modern history that people are familiar with. Yeah. So obviously there was prohibition. It ended. A lot of things were lost in that time. A lot of recipes, yeah. a lot of labels, the distilleries. The Great Experiment. Yes. 
experiment. What a joke. Noble experiment. Thir there was nothing noble about it. 13 years of... Terrible. Crime, organized crime being born. Yeah. And, uh, you know, speakeasies. Sorry if you were pro Prohibition. I don't know any of you, <laughs> you that were, would be... If you were in the temperance movement back in the 1920s then get out through out of 1933s... Then here. Scram, what are you doing? Um, yeah. Yeah. But, <laughs> so, obviously, I think we, we talk a lot. Normally, I think you guys have been on a lot of tours that probably talk about more recent history. I don't know that there's much of a point in, in going through all that. Um, obviously, like, 50s and 60s, you know, 40s, 50s, 60s, bourbon was still in, whiskey was still in, and then 70s and 80s, it fell out of fashion uh, through the 90s when flavored vodka was popular, clear spirits were popular, and then like mid 90s, I, mid to late 90s, I feel like is when people started to pick interest back up. Um, I think they started really on the road campaign campaigning and that's kind of what they did. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the, I would call them like the grandfathers of bourbon. Um, Jimmy Russell, Booker No, all them, right. were, were dredging up interest in bourbon, and I think that really took hold in the early two, late 90s, early 2000s, and people started to pick up interest. But it really didn't start to boom. I don't know when people would define the boom. In I the would kind of define 2000s. it. Two th but I would call it like maybe the end of 2008, 2010, maybe? 2010, 2010 2012? Started. I'll say this. It started, but... When I really got interest, like more interested than just passing was probably 2012 to 13. Mine was 2014. And that's when you could still walk into the store and get Elmer T. Lee. It was just sitting on the shelf. Same. Yeah. So it hadn't So the boomed. boom was starting, but it hadn't got to like, ah! Picking, picking up speed, but not what it is now. There weren't yeah. a lot of fancy visitor centers. I don't think at, in 2014, I had never been on a tour. Hmm. Um. Well, yeah, it's like, you know, Beam was like, pfft, people weren't coming to the still like, maybe a couple, you know, and we'd have to figure something out, but, like, there was no need for, like, a, a visitor's, visitor's center. center. It and wasn't a tourist attraction. That they had to build. Same thing um, with Turkey. They had to revamp, rehaul, yeah. Heaven Hills rehauling, a bunch of, and the new ones have learned, I think, oh, yeah. what their brand is and how to make their visitor center, you know, unique. Absolutely. Um, Cork pop. Let's do it. Oh, second uncorking of the evening. Brian Brennicky said, oh, Scott. Scott. Well, we'll pour. Yes, go ahead. Scott says, a lot of innuendos tonight. This will get flagged. But will <laughs> it? Does the YouTube algorithm robot know what an innuendo is? I think innuendo is about tone. In your endo. <laughs> Scrubs see? reference. See? <laughs> That's a good one. But yeah. And Brian Brannicky says, I think a round of distillery visits is in order for sometime in August if you could wait until September. <laughs> that would be great. No, I don't know. Thank you, do, you both. You do you, friend. We will be here in August probably also doing nothing then, too. That's true. So we're ending the night with uh, a more modern offering here. This is Wilderness Trail. This is a Justin's House of Bourbon pick. Yeah, this Four is Four years, pick. six months. Uh, Justin's House of Bourbon right here. Uh, there's one in Lexington, there's also one in Louisville. Yeah, you said it, four years, four months. Uh, it is a char number four on the barrel. Um, yeast strain is Firm Pro One. Well, that's mm. sexy. That that yeast strain, I'm <laughs> so familiar. That's a sweet mash. I'm familiar. I love it that they give the mash bill right here. It's 64% corn, 24% rye, so this is a high rye. And 12% malted barley. Copper pot distilled from a single fermented batch hmm. using our sweet mash process and put into the barrel at 110 proof, just a few points higher than uh, Castle and Key is doing. Um, and also the uh, Michter's, which is 103. Says 104? Three or five. I can't remember. One oh, Are you sure it's not 107 also? Nope, not 107. 103 or 105, I think. Yeah, can't remember. Can't remember. Can't remember that. Mmm. Ooh, that's... It's got a sweeter note. Oh, it's note. cast strength, too. So... 116 proof. Mm, the thing about this is, like, I would not have guessed the rye content. It's got some heat on the finish, but I would have thought that was because of the proof. I think you get a lot more of the sweetness from the corn. So, there's that. Those are my thoughts. You know, there was a... Whoa, what? What? I just saw a weird message. 
Ah, yeah, Trev. The distilleries have a variety of products back in the day. Did they have lower proof slash higher proof offerings or was it mostly just lower proof stuff? That's a really great question. Mostly, I mean, I wouldn't say mostly lower, but Bottle and Bond has always been popular. There hasn't been a whole lot of cast drink stuff. That's kind of been something. I feel like that's come about in like the recent times. Because of proof hounds, like you all. Now I am intrigued. Now something <laughs> like I wish us. we had looked up in time for this would have been like the Austin Nichols wild turkey story because I know yeah. that that's been mm -hmm. around for a while and that 101 like going at one proof point above that 100 proof yeah. you know bottled and bond yeah. I I wish we could have talked about that but you know alas we're at we have five minutes left so <laughs> um, Joseph filling us in on the Woodenville mash bill 110 entry proof with mm. the 72226 mash bill and this just these are so different and it's got, I mean, that's climate. Mm -hmm. um, Texas Mike says, hello, Sarah. This is your son. I miss you. Oh, no. You never told me. I don't. Oh, no. You have a fake son. Who's a 21 and old enough to watch this channel, although I'm only 30. So that doesn't That's weird. Add up. That's weird. Well, I'm that doesn't track. sorry. Go to bed, son. Go to bed. You're drunk. This is your stepdad. Or something. I don't know how that would work. Is your dad? That's how it would work. Go to bed. It's okay. Uh, thank you, Trev, for for putting that uh, Patreon and Whiskey Ambitions link there. So in, sweet of you. In the uh, Owen, thank you mods. <laughs> he's he's yes, thank you. He's so thoughtful. <laughs> yes, he is very thoughtful. That's awesome. So thoughtful and attentive, apparently. This is good. This is good, right? It's desserty. It is. Um, I love this proof, 116. That's going down very well. It's got the sweet, but like mm. also the savory with that proof. And there's some Ooh. things. This, this I feel like, has some food pairing potential. For Not that sure. I'm saying that's what it needs to be. I just think that there are some itself. flavors that would lend itself really well. Yeah. Especially dessert. Uh. But I don't know. What's well, been be our highest proof of the evening? Has it? Yeah. 116. We only went to 116. Are you guys proud of us? Do we even deserve this hound back here? Do we? Look <laughs> at him. He's so cute, though. Our dog, he's like as big as our dog, so she just, she like wants to play with him. And then when she gets down on the same level, she's like, mm, that's not for me. That's not for me. I don't think I can carry that around. I can't. In, I can't carry in, that. In my mouth. So yeah. she just, she just chills. I feel like that was a fun trip. We don't usually talk about those brands in that way. Well, I think what you're trying to say is we usually don't prepare. And <laughs> I don't feel like we usually need to prepare because we some most of the time, and I'm not trying to pat myself on the back or anything, but I feel like we most of the time know what we want to say and enough, you know, facts about what what happened. It did come from Florida. Confirmed. It did come from Florida. Uh, our friend Aaron. Sorry, Aaron. It's been a oh, few that was years. so long ago. It was so long. The the we, chestnut at fifty dollars. He believes that's our Florida connection. Uh, I think uh, the walking stick, um, consistently is thirty to thirty five dollars on sale. But is that the single barrel or not? Mm, I am really enjoying it's this. It's like I'm asking the phone, but it's a text. What a good pick. Is that the single barrel phone? Is that the single barrel or not? This house is bigger than your own one. This, is Rusty still in the <laughs> Navy? I'm going to stand up because I haven't. I'm just going to give it a little buffer. Okay, so okay, okay. Get all weird about no, it. No, I got to give Justin's House of Bourbon a shout out because this pig is good. Yeah. Not that they don't normally do good picks. They do. Drink. Um, I stood up. He did drink. Or he stood up he until did drink. You, you drink. He will also drink. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Drink, everyone says. Does anyone else um, have any history questions that I can fumble with and not answer? So, I don't, apparently he's in here, but I don't know. Well, maybe he's just not commenting. Maybe he's not commenting. Not everyone. He's just watching. Are, do you think all 354 people who are watching are commenting? They're no, not. No. That's okay. But we appreciate. I mean, you can watch quietly from the corner. <laughs> several things that you have brought into our lives. He has brought Lots of things into our lives. We, we appreciate it. So many so I, that it's hard to keep count of which ones. And I want to kind of keep his anonymity because sure. I don't want people being like, what can you find from me? No, it's not It's not that type of so, situation. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> mm. I mean, 
Wilderness Trail has always been a really solid pour. I think this goes Ashley just asked, um, newest craft distillery in Kentucky to watch. Um, newest? Yeah, newest, I don't know. Newest is a tough one. Two um, that are like on the, you know, on the radar that you should be watching is this and New Rift. New Rift, yeah, yeah. for sure. But there's there's got to be other ones. Um, it's just so hard because I feel like so many have cropped up recently, and it's, you know, we just haven't been to them all. Um, hmm. What do you mean about? Well, Nick, with his history question, which town in Kentucky is the eldest? I don't know town. I know there used to be, Kentucky was basically three counties. It was Bourbon County, Fayette County, and the third county. Um, and that third county. And that third county that no one remembers. Um, I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. Dear Swan, what can you find for me? Uh, <laughs> Dear Florida Swan, I can't find Booker's right. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I don't know. Do you remember which distillery had the... The wrong picture on their website from the wrong year? Buffalo what? Trace? What? I don't know about that. Strangely, I just like, as I was enjoying this, on the finish, I got a waffles and waffles. and that Woodenville maple syrup. Waffles oh. and syrup on the finish. It was so weird. It came out of nowhere, oh. and I think it's gone Thank you again, now. T Tony. For that Woodenville. He's uh, the one who Oh, it was Tony. Yeah, okay. Yeah. God, gotta order some more of that Woodenville syrup. That is Or just the order best some Woodenville syrup. Maple syrup. Yes, yeah. we gotta order some. He sent us many several samples. Many several. Of the Woodenville line. He sent us some uh some bottles and that Oh, that syrup. That is good. It's There's almost, only one syrup like, I've had that's better than that syrup. And you can't buy whistle pig. We were at where were we? Was that the Bourbon, Bourbon on, on the Banks? Oh, you're right. Bourbon, Bourbon on, on the Banks, banks in Frankfurt, yep. August of last year. It was the first annual, and there was a Whistle Pig booth, and they had brought a small sample of their, not for retail, um, their maple syrup that they age in the barrels. And, then, you know, they're in Vermont, so, you know, maple syrup. Um, and I, he was like, do you want to taste it? Um, this is Whiskey Nate. He was like, do you want to taste it? Because if you do taste it, I mean, you're going to like it, but you can never go back to a time before you tasted it. And I was all like, whatever, give me it. And he was right. It was the best syrup I've ever had, and it breaks my heart to know that I will probably never have it again. And I can't share it with the world. Heartbreaking. <sighs> but, oh well. It's true. You guys should, should, I mean, it was legit real syrup. I can't, I can't even. She can't even. I can't she even can't even. It. Can't even talk about it. Uh, please uncork Bell Mead Reserve Cast Strength. Ooh, I'd love to. It's very good. We like that. We like that a lot. Do we have a new? Do we have a fresh bottle of that hanging around anywhere? Um, maybe. Well, I know Iverson got us that twelve year. Oh, yeah, but that's, that's not the cask. That's not mm. the cast strength. I'd love to. I'd love to um, do what you're asking. We finished. Carl Ivy's bottle. Yes, we did. That one's long um, gone. <laughs> I killed, we killed that one. Yeah, I don't think we have a cast strength bell made at the moment. What are some other new? I can't think of any. Why am I blanking? We live here. Well, I mean, I can think of some newer ones. I mean, Lux Row Distillery is newer. It is newer. Newer. Still contract distilling sure, sure, outside. Sure, sure. Um, what else is newer? Castle and Keys, newer. Oh, yeah. They're just now getting oh, product out. duh. <laughs> We've been only talking about, like, a, such a great tour experience. If James is still here, he's just been shaking his head. James has just been like, you guys, yeah. come on. No, that, even even though, like, when we last went, which was October, they only had gin and vodka, um, which I, admittedly, I'm, I'm not a fan of either of those spirits. However, their gin and their vodka it's so flavorful. It is so good. Yeah. Um, Juniper. And, and we got to have two two cocktails. Like, the nice thing about the tour that we took is that they took you into a tasting room with your group, and you got to choose one cocktail from one side and one cocktail from the other side of a seasonal menu. And and so I tried the gin and the vodka, and they were both delicious. Uh, they're calling out Barstown Bourbon Company. Of course. Again, Duh, what are we thinking? <laughs> oh, yes, yeah. Bardstown Bourbon Company. Love, also love. a distillery that is sourcing for the time being Maryland. as their distillate is aging. 
but they know how to blend barrels. They know how to source. They sure do know how. Yeah, and they've got some great finished stuff with the the prisoner and the Pfeiffer Pavitz. And even if you're and, not buying uh, into that part, Piper Pavitz. Pfeiffer Pavitz. Okay. Even if you're not um, buying into that. You should still go to Bardstown <laughs> Bourbon Company and go eat there because... Uh, Trib. Yes, yes. Pour more jazz. Do what feels right. <laughs> but yeah, you should go eat there or drink there, whatever, because they have an insane vintage whiskey list. And yeah. some of it is attainable. Like, mm. I, when we last went, again, I think there was like some pours from the 80s that we could get for like 15 bucks. I mean, still an ounce, but if you want to try something from the 80s, for an ounce, it's fifteen dollars. Like, you want some pre-fire heaven hell? There you go. Yep. Just attainable. You know, if you want a little uh, to dabble in some history, which feels appropriate for this episode. It does. Oh, such good people there. That's the one. That's gonna be my first stop. We've decided it's gonna be our there and will it. There and will it um, are gonna be. We won't tell you why. Um, I won't. <laughs> but those will be our first two stops once the distilleries open back up because I am dying to eat at Barstown Bourbon Company's Bottled and Bond Kitchen. Uh, I must have some vintage whiskey. Their patio is you, excellent. You gotta try their and, steak. And you know, you can be outside right now. You gotta try that. We'll try a steak. Bottled and Bond Kitchen We're gonna steak. go to Willet too. So, looking forward to it. It's gonna be great. I think because you're on your phone, we're probably wrapping up. <laughs> Chad's bored. He no, play I was I was getting information. I know. It's I'm germane kidding. to the subject. I'm kidding. It's germane. It's germane. It's germane. It's also Tito. Not the guy from. It's uh, uh, Michael. It's okay. That's the only three Jackson I can think of. Tito. Oh, I thought Jermaine, we were talking about Jermaine Michael, from A uh, Flight of the Concords. Uh, Jermaine. Brit. Brit. A little Brit. I thought he wasn't a Brit. Can I have a thousand doulas? Oh, they're they're uh, Kiwis. The Kiwi. Yeah. Right. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I don't think our Australian friends are in the chat to uh, correct us on that. They could probably tell just from their uh, accent alone. But, yeah. Yeah. I hey think... there, stay. Todd Cooper, where you been? You been in here? What up, Todd? Oh. Um, I think I think it's time to go. Okay. Okay. Sarah says it's time to go. history for the evening. Um... Oh, there is Chris. Do you know Fly of the Concords? Do you know... Just because New Zealand is close to Australia in terms of like... Do you know blood, them, like, blood? personally? I imagine they know them. Okay, cute. <laughs> Todd's at work, so we should say goodbye. Oh, okay, cool. Do you know the what they do in the shadows, guys? That's not goodbye. Oh, because <laughs> I think they're also... Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Okay. All right. Um. Thank you for joining us. Yes. For To celebrate Kentucky's birthday tomorrow... Glad we could have a few pours together. Um, yeah, we hope you guys have a great week. Uh, yeah, stay safe out there. Mm -hmm. We'll see you guys uh, next Sunday. Uh, produce episode on Friday as always. And I think that's that's uh, you know that's. I all. think that's all she wrote. I think that's all we got. I got a, right. got a little bit to finish here. Okay. Well, he has to hit the button. So. I control the bow out. He does. All right. Okay. All right. Night, y'all. <laughs> Night, everybody.